Hi and welcome back to the Stone Ranger. So, a little bit of an impromptu stone carving session. I don't normally go live until a, a Wednesday at 7 o'clock, but I'm down in my little shed, I'm doing a little bit of carving, and I thought the best way to get better at doing these lives is just do as many as possible. It'll take away that uh, nervousness of what you get when you go in live. And they say practice makes perfect, and I've got quite a big project. It's not massive, but a lot of detail to get carving uh, on this business logo. So, yeah, I'm going to spin you around, I'm going to sharpen some chisels, and I'm going to get doing some carving. So this business logo here, you can see, is called The Open House. You'll have to bear with me just as I set you up on the right angle. It is a Friday morning. I'm not expecting to see any of the regulars on here, but I'm carving. And I thought you might like to join me. Another thing I'm hoping to do by going live more often is while I'm getting used to it. To get used to the fact that it's okay that there's going to be some awkward silences. And I don't need to talk all the time. So I don't know if you can see this logo here. It's called the Open House. And all these are fans all the way around. And I've drawn this on here from the drawing of the original, the original design, which was drawn by hand. So if you look closely, you might see this one's a little bit wider than this one. And that is how it is on the original drawing. They get a bit more uniform around here. But I didn't want to make them all perfect because I like the fact that they... The person who designed the logo in the first place, because it's all hand drawn, and I've gone straight from that original drawing, the first ever one. That there is a, there is a few that are all different, which is nice. So I'm going to carve all these out all the way around, and then we'll have this house in the middle. And hopefully, it'll come together. Get a few in if we say if we if we get into say like here you'll start to see it a bit better and what i've actually done i've left this a bit loose so if i want to to get the angle i can move it around to make it easier for myself Move it around one more time and just see where we find that perfect spot, that sweet spot, what we think is going to be perfect for us to work. I like the idea of it set up straight. It's always my favourite to have something looking where it's meant to be. This is a business logo, what I'm carving, called Open House.
basically what I'm using is a nice 600 gram dummy hammer, a six mil tungsten tip chisel. And I've got a bit of a paintbrush to clean it up as I'm going along. So I'm just going to see if actually that might be the better angle. What I can do, if I want to move on to a larger chisel, sharpen it up. Let's repeat that quite a few times. I'm going to clean my safety specs. How much does it cost? Um, so I'm quite into trading. So I like trading. So I'm going to trade this. So... Um, it's not going to cost them anything. Just some of their own wares. Um, but if it was to, if I was to charge a couple hundred pound. But you can see there's a lot of carving to do all the way around there. Actually, it's a really good design if you're starting to learn how to carve. To do, especially electric. It's a great design to, to learn. To carve for learning. Yeah, it definitely is a lot of work, but it's a hobby, I enjoy it, and we do this every Wednesday, live on the on the channel, which is really nice, it means um, we've got a really nice community of people, of four and a half thousand people, not everybody comes to watch, but we've got a good amount, we've got some really nice people who come on. new subscriber thank you very much it's uh, well hopefully we'll see you on a wednesday evening and if you're wanting to learn how to do some carving there's over 150 videos on the channel from 
what stone you're going to need, what chisels you're going to need, how to how to start carving. There's even some discount codes on buying chisels. There's lots of videos, some dry stone walling. There's lots and lots on there. It's only a small little channel, but we like it. So what I have down here is a selection of all different size chisels. So if you hear me rummaging around, that's what I'm doing. Looking for all different chisels. Hi Liz, Liz is in Dublin. We're doing a little bit of uh, carving on a Friday morning. I've got the day off. My wife's at work children at college or at work university and I'm doing a bit of a bit of stone carving and I thought why not invite you all to join me and like I said in the intro to the video practice makes perfect when it comes to these live videos it's um, quite a nerve-wracking thing to carve live but I quite enjoy it at the same time and it seems to go down well with the, the Stone Ranger community. So I thought, let's do it. So we're normally live seven o'clock on a Wednesday, like most of you all know. I just presumed it's seven o'clock somewhere. And when you've got a subscribers from all over over the world, seven o'clock on a Wednesday, so it doesn't suit everybody. hoping to achieve by doing a few of these impromptu live sessions because you get used to it, it's okay to have some silences while you're working you don't have to talk the whole way through but if you ask my wife I do nothing but talk anyway
quite like the fact that they're all different. chisel I'm looking for, that little four mil. Who have Ireland got this weekend in the Six Nations, Liz? Lots of work to um, put all these little fans in, but it's really going to come to life. I don't know if you ever got a job marked up and you think, oh, I'm looking forward to starting that. And this is one of them, this is who's marked up on that. Oh, so I go and have a quick go, so I go and have an hour. Turn the light off, see if it, you might be able to see it a bit better. Oh, Ireland have got Italy. That's um, that should be another win, but Italy have got better. Two questions after that. Yeah. 
fight about breaking through the next one. If it happens, it happens. I just kind of block that bit out of my mind. The worst is going to be when I'm, I'm here and you get to the last couple and you're trying to hold the chisel on it. Um, and then the next question was hitting exactly the right place at the right time and weight and depth. Just practice. That's all it is, it's just practice. Being confident to go for it. So when I'm teaching a bit of carving, I do something what we call a 20 minute 20 minute carving. You might have heard me talk about them before in a live. Um, so you just draw a simple pattern. I like leaves or flowers are really good. So you draw a nice horse chestnut leaf. You've got 20 minutes to carve it. I mean, you have to be, it's not like we're timing it, but we're going right 20 minutes from now, boom. So, and just carve it. And because you've forced to finish it in 20 minutes, you're swinging the hammer a bit more aggressively. You're holding it a bit different. You're holding it here and there. Your chisel's working and you're ch -ch 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 moving around. But what that does, that shows you, actually, not everything has to be tap, 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 tap. I'm worried about it. You can go for it. And the stone's a little bit more forgiving than you think. You can see what you can get away with, what you can't do. And if it breaks, it breaks. It doesn't matter. If you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. But you're going to learn along the way of what you can get away with. So 20-minute carving, I find fantastic. Hopefully that answers the question. And you've got control of this hammer, so you go down the shaft and you've got a lot more swing, a lot more weight. You go up and you can tip, tip, tap. It's um, the angle you're holding your chisel. And these might look like you're going to break through, but actually these are carved in the V-shape. So they look very narrow on top, but actually a bit like a dam wall. There's a lot there holding them. What you have to do with this though is make sure you keep it sharp. Any starter kits you can learn to buy from Germany. Um, the Germans do everything well. I don't know any, but there will be. There'll be some German tools you can buy, yeah. what'll be fantastic. But what there is on the channel, there's two videos about chisels you can buy. So you've got two types, you've got one, what are wrapped in leather like this and they come from china and that full kit of six chisels i think it is was 13 and a half pound delivered to the house and they're fantastic to start with and then there's another kit which you can buy with these chisels you get four chisels like this and they cost 15 pound 59 there's also a video on the channel for them my supplier what supplies these these, uh, these are Italian tungsten. They're based in the UK, but they ship all around the world. And we actually offer a discount code on their online store at the minute. On store, not store, store. So one of my videos has got a discount code. Have a look on the channel, you'll see that. There's also videos on the channel of 
tools you can use to carve from around the house. Like how I start with an old wood chisel and a, a claw hammer. And stone wise, use what you've got around you to start with. Don't go out buying because you just want to just want to carve shapes. Write your name, like I said, do a 20 minute carving. Some numbers, some house numbers. But then there's also another video on the channel about if you can't get your hands on any stone or you can't afford to be buying chunks of stone, there's a mortar mix what we've come up with, what you can use. You can buy it straight off the shelf like a ready mix cement, put it in a frame, let it set and practice your carving that way. So there's lots of options. But if you wanted to buy a kit what you can carve with a piece of stone and a stencil and some and a chisel and a hammer. Yeah, go to Southern Stone Limited. There's a link on one of the videos. Like I say, you get a discount now and they, they ship to Germany. So hopefully that's a hopefully that answers your question. It was a long answer. If you do have any questions what are longer and you want the advice, people send me emails asking. So on the, you'll see it on the channel in the bio, the stone ranger 08 at gmail.com. People are always sending me emails of jobs they're working on. And just so we can see them, we share them, share them on the channel or I'm just asking for advice. going to quickly try this other hammer. I know it looks a lot bigger and heavier, which it is, but also it's a different, it's a different um, thing for carving. Sometimes it's nice, the only problem is it, when you're carving like this on your easel rather than on your bench, it can get heavy. And then chisels, what I was just talking about, £13, pound, £13, pounds, well they were £13.5 delivered, forget the exact number, they were really good. For the money they are really good, I use them quite regularly. They're not going to have the same lifespan the professional ones but you're not spending the same money this is my original hammer my first ever dumber hammer hammer I bought um, Nine years ago. Sharpen that up. Mr. Robinson's on. Hi, Tom. 
So sorry if I've missed it already. What are we making today? So you know this, you'll know this place. So this is the bank house in Haversage. And this is their logo. So individual fans all the way around with this house in the middle. It's called not the bank house, sorry, open house in Haversage, the one just down the road from the bank house. Um, I do that all the time, call it the bank house. I did carve them a sign though. Um, yeah, open house in Haversage where the Royal Bank of Scotland used to be. So yeah, this is the house and this is their logo. This logo was hand drawn originally, um, what they use by one of the, the owners. And I've copied it directly from that. So what you'll notice, explained it earlier some of these fans are slightly wider than others and i could have tried to get them all uniform i didn't want to i like the fact that they'd be able to put this next to the original drawing and notice that that one there is wider than that one there and that's how they've drawn it which i think is quite nice i'm not meant to be uh going live today I'm meant to be um, I should I should have been at work but actually as it turned out the group I was working with cancelled from where they were coming from and I've worked over my hours so I've taken a bit of flexi time when I got in there this morning that was an option I'll probably log on later on the computer catch up some emails but well, I'm going to go carving and I thought well why not invite you lot you get more comfortable doing these lives. Not expecting to see many regulars on, but it's been a Friday. We're normally on at seven on a Wednesday, not a Friday morning, but a couple of you have been on actually, which is nice. I've got a new subscriber. started prepping um, the Nottingham Forest football logo to carve and there isn't lots of detail to put into it but what there is is a lot of material to move I'll have to count them at the end. So I know how many there is. What I'd really like to do with this, to take it to that next level, is get a nice piece of timber around it and bend it round so we heat it up. Um, so it bends round and join it in, I think that'd be really nice. Or even a strap of metal. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I would go about that, but that would be cool. 
Cool. Tom, if you're still on, not sure if you are, I know you, you'll be busy on a Friday. I just wanted to get your permission. I was going to send you an email. The carving looks great, but I want to get your permission to share it with the rest of the people on the community page, if that's okay. I was going to put a picture of my first ever carving on next to it, what I did was it's spookily similar. We use the same paint to paint it, the chisel, the, uh, we'll the same font, and mine was uh, back to all farm. So we've got a little bit of the same wording in there. Another reason I want to go live just now is because I think it'll be better on a Wednesday night if I've got some of this done. Or oh, this this week's going to be a Thursday night carving live because it's Valentine's Day. But you know, the only one of them uh, regulars where we get a, a lot of people joining in. Last week we had 3,000 people watching. So it's nice to see it's already started and where it's going to. when you're at the beginning stages like this it's hard to see it on the camera I would imagine You won't want to hit that too hard. Oh yeah, so that's if you've used the same seal as me, you don't want to use it with a hammer, right? It reacts with it. That's what that's why I use that water base seal because it doesn't react with a hammer. Right? Yeah. That seal is not good like a Thompson's patio seal or weather seal like that wouldn't work with the with hammerite you don't want to use that that water-based paint which I did a video about yesterday so that's the paint for if you wanted to seal it afterwards but you shouldn't need to seal it if it's hammerite as much um, one tip I would go for if you you are going to use hammerite and you do want to seal it the best thing you can do water down some PVA that works really, really well. Yeah, water down some PVA and just put it on there, and that'll that'll uh, that'll protect it. Have you managed to clean it up okay? Have you managed to get it so you can repaint it? I noticed it was a more natural 
looking face on the stone so you couldn't rub it down very easily. Starting to feel happier, it's nearly sat straight now. I made exactly the same mistake with the uh, the seal and the hammer right. You don't like it at all. soil base now that's good that it's all cleaned up so that paint I did that video on yesterday not that I'm saying people should shop too much on Amazon when there's local shops that need support but I can't find it locally that paint so I do buy it off Amazon and I think it cost me £7 delivered next day delivery and like you know Tom you need very little that was last year virtually a lifetime I mean I used to go through a bit but I was carving house signs and painting them every day for the business so we went through it a little bit but you should never need to buy another got a couple of people watching uh, going up and down when we first first turned it on I think we did we have maybe 80 people YouTube have started doing this thing where they like to force a few people to come and watch the, um, they've been trying to be kind to me to get new subscribers which it works and I'm really grateful for it but then it settles down and you get your regular so we're going up between um, what two, three times eight, which is a nice steady amount of people watching, which is nicer. Sometimes I kind of think when I'm first carving, especially on a day where people are not used to me carving, like a Friday morning, I'll just be here on my own carving, but that doesn't matter because I'd be carving anyway.
bash my hair. Don't forget to stick a little thumbs up on. It definitely helps um, promote the channel. YouTube seems to like it when people put thumbs up on the video. It shows me I'm doing a good job and also helps YouTube promote the channel, which means we get more people who want to join. For all the people I noticed we've got quite a few people watching at the moment. If you want to learn how to carve a bit of stone, doing a bit of dry stone walling, you want to carve your own house sign or just want to take up a little hobby and find it really 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 therapeutic. This is the channel you want to subscribe to because there's over 150 videos. All about stone carving and dry stone walling all the tools you're gonna to need stone the discount codes cheap chisel sets what we can recommend for you costing less than 15 pounds Definitely need to sharpen that one. So there's 101 people watching at the minute. Out of that 101 people, how many of you can put a thumbs up? Well, 92 people there is. How many of you can stick a little thumbs up on there? What I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera. I found the right angle I'm working at. So bear with me.
I'm going to build myself a new workshop this year. So I, uh, when I do, I'm really going to think about the camera angles. So you guys can get the best experience. It's a bit of a problem because I'm standing in the way a lot when I'm carving. So to get good camera angles without having somebody filming it is difficult. Unless I pay someone to come and film it. I'm not sure how I'd ever get it perfect. Another one of the members is on. That's nice. Thumbs up from, from Brian. Is anybody else, um, how much do I charge? Let's have a look, we've got two, I can't, can't translate that one, which is unfortunate. How much do you charge people for that? So this is actually a trade. I like trading. Um, so for example, I've got a couple of house signs to do for people. And in return, they give me a two night stay in their holiday cottage the house signs going on so i like trading i spent 15 years of business working out prices and charging people i like doing now stuff for a trade but if i was to charge them a couple hundred pounds got no trading for me i've got a few trades coming up some lady swapping, she wants a, a simple number 20 house number done on a piece of stone. Potentially a little bit weird, you know, too much. And she wants to trade me for a, a cheese hamper. I mean, who don't like cheese? Which is nice. There's another guy who's a designer locally. We're going to carve his logo very soon. He's going he's gonna to print me some t-shirts with the Stone Ranger on. That's a nice trade. Or even do me a, a new limited edition design for one and some of these designs are fantastic and then what else what else have we got trade for some gin um local carpet man contacted me i'm not sure what he'll trade me for maybe like a, a roll of underlay you just trade what you can it's a nice way to do things in life.
So if anyone out there wants a trade and they want to um put a piece of stone work doing and they want to trade, send me a message. What is a, a spa? Some um spa treatment. Somebody I work with wants me to carve their family crest and in return say they take me on a guided trip up Kilimanjaro. He's done it five times now. Oh nice. So is that is that Alistair or Alistair's dad or Alistair's mum? That is Alistair, or if it's not oh, Alistair, it's um, Alistair really helped me set up the channel. Like, right at the beginning, when I first set it up and made my first video, Alistair was the first person I told about it. And he helped me build my first intro. Sure, if Alistair has seen, but the channel's grown. What is Alistair? The channel has grown a bit, Alistair. We're up to nearly four and a half thousand subscribers. As well as my full time job, I like doing the. Uh, still like doing the videos of me carving, and we do a few live videos now. We did a six hour video well five hours and 50 minutes exact last sunday for chesterfield football club raising money how's luna Actually, talking about trades, I've done quite a few trades. Well, I actually traded Alistair's side. So I did um, the clock house. Number five, the clock house. There's a video of it on the channel. Go and have a look at it. Uh, what I actually traded with his dad. Because we had a cuckoo clock that came from my wife's father's house in Ireland that was broken. And Alistair's dad mended it. And you know, I still haven't put it up in the house. And it, it always felt right not to, because I always knew we were going to move house, and it felt nice to keep it safe in this box until we did. And we're actually moving house this year, and me and my wife were only talking three or four weeks ago, saying, "Let's we'll get the cuckoo clock up in the new house." So I'm looking forward to that. So that was a really good trade. What of um. It's going to bring out a lot of memories having that clock up on the wall.
Well, I'll definitely need some help setting up it up, definitely. Oh, that's a nice one. Alistair helped me so much in trying to get to me to my first 100 subscribers. He even texted all his mates with a link to the channel, asked them to subscribe. They got not be interested in stone carving at all. And the channel then was so different, it was uh, possibly painful for them to have to watch it. But no, he really wanted to help me get there. Just carrying on talking about the trades. So I've had four or five people ask me in the last month if I sell the Stone Ranger merchandise, mainly hats and t-shirts, which I don't. I, but I, I mean, I'm not against it. I was gonna make one for myself or get one made for myself. But if anybody wants to build me a single page build me a single page um, website where I can for the Stone Ranger where you can put a bit of merchandise on that'd be a great trade Why is it quarter past 11 already?
thought around a little bit. You should start to, the more I do, the more you'll be able to, you should be able to see it coming to life a little. Sure, if Alistair's still on, but he will like the fact that six, um, three and a half thousand people was watching us live carving the other day because he was here right at the beginning to help me start it, so we'll like that. I'm going to take this opportunity while well, there's only two people on the channel. To nip for a comfort break, I might top my cup of tea up. So while there's only two of you there, you know, it's a good time. So, for any chance that a million people tune in while I'm gone, please tell them where I am. I'll be back any minute.
two minutes. Oh, I'm back. It was good timing. The postman was there. Well, he was just walking up to knock on the door. It's my son's 18th birthday. On Monday. And we just had a couple of bits delivered, so that was good timing. 18. It's crazy.
I don't know what the weather's like where the rest of you are, but we had some snow yesterday, and now we've got that like grey after. Oh, you know, it's all melted and everything's really damp and just cold. It gets in your bones cold. Like. I went shaping stone yesterday in the snow down in the workshop. It's cold down there. It wasn't there long, isn't it? There. An hour and a half. Dry stone walling tomorrow in Staffordshire. I'm teaching people for the next two days how to build dry stone walls. Make sure I've got my thermals on. Somebody asked me the other day, how many times did I reckon I swung a hammer in my lifetime? Wow. Probably the way to start. A lot. It's a shame I don't feel like I've got the right angle for you lot there because from where I'm working I'm really um, it's really starting to take shape if that's better for you maybe I'll just try it I really like this, especially as that dampness is still in the stone, it's drawing out. That fresh cut in and it's as it the damp's just seeping through. Really nice effect. So I've got a question for you. For all four of you, for all four of you are on. Originally, I, this is meant to be carved out. This house. But I'm thinking maybe if I just do this one line on the outside, that'll be enough. Because I really like this. A bit like on the Chesterfield one. I really like the smoothness of this here. Will it ruin it by going lower? I think that's the centre and that smooth piece of Derbyshire stone there 
I think look really nice. So I'd like to know your opinion on that.
can you believe I was concerned at one point if I um, got on too well I wouldn't have enough left to do the live carving on a Wednesday night. I think I might have a couple of weeks worth. So I've got one chisel in here, which is this one. Which gets to a really nice point and it's one of them really cheap ones. And I use that just to run over the edge like this. Just sits in the bottom of the point, just sits nicely in the bottom of the V carving. It's a project I want to, this reminds me a little bit, that's why I mentioned it. It's a project I want to do for my wife, actually, as a present. I'd like to carve her a really nice feather. I've just never felt the right time just to do it yet. Still got lots to go. Maybe someone could count. And if you know any Nottingham Forest fans, I'm going to be carving their crest next. So give them a shout. Time to join the channel. I'm not sure if the um charity i'm doing it for which is raising money for defibrillators in grassroots football i'm not sure if they're auctioning it or they're raffling it but they'll be the first to know about it on this channel if you get them to join
coming on. I'm getting around the corner. So I'm consciously not talking as much as I normally do on a line. I'm trying to get used to not talking so much, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this live feed on a Friday, not on a normal regular slot on a Wednesday. Because I was carving, I wanted to invite you along anyway. But I'm taking the opportunity to try and get more comfortable with doing the live streams and get used to not having to chat the whole way through. Strange time of day to be doing a live, especially if my audience in um, parts of America, I suppose, will be in bed. And in the UK, it's a Friday, and we'll be at work. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if anyone watches it or not, really. It's, um, I'm carving, and it, oh, I'm be carving away anyway, so it doesn't really, really matter. It's nice that people get to drop in and say hello. We've had Alistair come in and say hello. We've had Brian come in and say hello. Two Brian's come in and say hello. And then we've had, uh, Liz, Tom, got a new subscriber. People have been asking questions, so it's definitely been worth it. Now I'm getting round with this. That's going to make a lovely noise. Do you know one of them um, frogs you can get where you rub a stick across its back? Let's see if I'm good. And it'll make a really nice noise there. Like a duck call. So I've decided what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my quarters, points, well I'd be more than a quarter. Um, so I'm going to get to this point anyway, I pick myself points that I'm going to get to and then I'm going to go back and put a bit more depth on it.
old chisel. Coming on now. I, um, I'm hoping by the time the next live carving session comes around next week, I'll have it in a position what's starting to make sense and everyone can see it. It should be nice. It's by that point. It should be. Uh... It should be getting somewhere. So we've got one more to do and then that'll be after this obviously finish this one up and then that'll be me and we'll have some dinner my wife will be held on the dinner break I've got stuff to do this afternoon I 
nice of some of you to drop on and say hello, those of you who can. See, so yeah, I know it's done for Friday. Definitely ready for a new sharpening block. Might do that this afternoon.
that is me done. Open that section. A little bit tidying up. I'm going to now go back and make it a little bit deeper. So turn this on. So yeah, I've finished that bit for now. Like I said, it was an impromptu stone carving session. Uh, but thanks for everyone who joined in. Thanks for everyone who dropped a comment in or put a thumbs up on there. It always helps. And I'll see you all on the next one. Who knows when it'll be.